All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. Happy Halloween. We are here to do some Halloween readings. I pulled some cards from the Halloween Oracle deck, and this is what I got. The first card is Ghost One, which is Regret. Card two is the spider, which is which talks about community and web weaving, all right? So pick your piles, or pick your card, card one, card two. I will put the timestamps down below in the description box, all right, guys? But before we jump into this, don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, sending me good energy only means you're going to get good energy back, all right, guys? So pick your piles, and I will see you guys at your readings. All right, pile number one, if you chose the ghost, this is your reading. So the ghost talks about regret. It speaks of regret, things of the past um, that we might not, we might have a hard time letting go. In this, with this energy, I'm getting more like um, haunting. Like, I don't know if this really has anything to do with somebody who has passed on has more to do with things of the past haunting you and coming back. The ghost is the one who does the haunting. So uh, pile number one, you could be the ghost or somebody else could be that ghost coming back and haunting you, okay? So we're gonna uh, look into this and see what your story is, all right? Let's see. All right, pile number one, <laughs> right on the split. Um, dece uh, deception or lies about a child. Could be a Pisces. You walked away from a kid. You made money off of creating heartache. And you just like walked away. So you walked away from this kid. Like. Okay, so hmm. this is a family, okay. A lot of confusion surrounding this. Someone's going to speak the truth about this baby. Yeah, it's about a baby. Um, you have to get child support. You have to give child support. Um, you walked away from a child. It's like, but... I'm getting like the mother is like this knight of cups. The mother is this knight of cups. This is like the page is the baby. The knight is the, so this is like a, like a young adult, like, you know, teen, like late teen type, um, uh, age, age group. This is the one with the baby. This is the one you have to pay child support. Um, this mother has been trying to get, um, a, a paternity test and you keep a, avoiding it like I can't I can't because you're worried you know that if, if you find if they find out that you're the the father of this child that you could there's a possibility that you can get imprisoned because you've done this like this is a choice you you've done this in the past you've had conflicts in the past surrounding these types of allegations with you know other people and other like other families there could be other families coming forward about something that you've done so that could be the ghost of this past the families could be coming back to haunt you <clears throat> three of cups There could have been, okay, so we're going back to this family dynamic. Okay, so this could be the ghost is this this queen of cups. This is somebody um, who was giving to a situation where there was always a third party, all right? This is somebody who was like sleeping with people that they work with. Um, they could have been messing around with these people, with these other individuals while this person was at work. This, 
the person that's getting haunted never thought that this person would get smart or wise to what they what they have done but judgment's here baby judgment's here and um this this child that someone walked away from is going to be their undoing because they have to get a paternity test yeah you are the father <laughs> I mean, this is something that we've already known. People, someone's lying and saying, "No, I was never. I never did any of that." Um, you could have been trying. You, oh, somebody lied to you. They could have been saying, "Oh yeah," somebody could have been saying, "I got an abortion. I got an abortion," and only to find out that this kid, this kid, I mean, could have been actually had the baby. Yeah, you were hoeing around with this. Uh, person you were you actually paid this you could have solicited their their services so you you paid them to sleep with you and now all this fighting because we have i have a, a baby with you and i'm gonna get caught up i'm gonna get caught up eternity tests I heard somebody's gonna make the act, the allegation against you, make an accusation against you, and you're not gonna be able to really. I heard um, it. It's not defamation if it's true. So somebody could make a uh, an allegation against you, and you're like, oh, they're slandering my name. But it's no, it's <laughs> it's not slander or defamation if it's true. If the shit that you were really doing, or if the shit that you were that they're accusing you of turns out to be true you did this because somebody rejected you so you went after their kid and you left that shit show burning and you you thought i'm gonna get away and i'm gonna go start a new life and a, like a new project and you know you're tr oh man you ran you got away from the you you try to run away from what you what you did but this person the person that you were uh the person the, the kid that you hired to to fuck you i heard that's the only way you can really get someone to fuck you because you're gross um this person told you i i did i had an abortion only to find out no they didn't and so now you're like fuck uh, this person could have been like, well, I'm going to get as much money out of, out of this motherfucker as I can. <laughs> That's the truth. Now this person, I'm hearing uh, um, Kanye, like she got you for, she got you, she has you for 18 years. She has you for 18 years. I heard somebody say, so am I, does that mean I'm going to find out that the kid ain't mine? No, the kid's yours. You're going to have to pay for this child. You're going to be responsible for financially taking care of this child. I don't know if you're going to be able to do that with prison in your future, but um, <laughs> if it's not, okay. If it's, it's going to be hard for you to be able to support this child because, um, there's going to be, you're going to have a hard time finding work. When the truth comes out of, of who you really are, um, people are going to see it as a foolish decision to try to, to even have you. Like, you're too much of a risk. You're a liability to this company. And so they're like, the decision, nah, I don't think so. Your money's gonna go. Your money's gonna go to this kid if you can even support it. But you believed that that this person was gonna have an abortion. They didn't, and now you, you know, the truth of who you really are. You know, is coming out, and you could be regretting this. That you know, you you did what you did because this ghost is haunting you now. for pile number one yeah you think I'm gonna be able um, <laughs> you're trying to figure out a way to move away from this shit show this burning fire over here to 
calmer waters and you know sunnier days spirit says that's going to be a hard thing to do this tower is falling you could fake the funk all you want but the truth is you might not want to hear that what's coming out what's what's being spoken but that tower's coming whether you like it or not for your decisions that you've made in your home the, the the manipulative ways your behavior in the home you like to control you like to bully you like to cause confusion you lied to people telling people that you walked away from this person but you were hiding that you actually had a lot of love for this person but because of your 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 behavior someone someone decided to end things with you and that pissed you off that you got rejected that you wanted to cause conflict for someone you could have even been plotting someone's death man people see what you're trying to hide the authority see yo oh my god so maybe present is in your future you might be regretting your choices now but <laughs> oh there it is prison yep um that makes us ghost very happy mm-hmm Because of all the burdens that you created for this person, financial, emotional, uh, like physical things, like in this world, like you. Hmm. You're, you're going to, ah, you're going to pay. That's what it says. You are the father of this kid. You are the father. King of Cups. Page of Cups. If uh, you don't want you want to I heard if you want to prove me wrong take the paternity test so somebody could be telling you um so somebody could be saying oh that's not my kid that's not my kid it's like okay well take the paternity test and prove to me if not I'll I'll I will apologize I'll publicly apologize and publicly admit that I was um whatever you know just <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna happen I don't think that's going to happen. Because it's the truth. We have the lovers. Okay. Oh, you're trying to say, oh, they're so they're so jaded and bitter. And they're, yeah. So you're saying that. You're telling people that um, someone's jaded and bitter. You're like, oh, I don't know. This is like someone who has to tell everybody that they're the, they're the victim. They're the ones that are getting targeted because this other person is so angry that they left them when the truth is this person left and never looked back. This person didn't even realize that this person was doing all this shit behind the scenes because they don't check for them. They don't care for this person. If anything, this person was running away, like don't fucking follow me, just stay over there, you know, Mm -mm. you're nothing but a burden yeah this person that th this, it could be their family somebody that they slept with in their family or in the home is the one that's pregnant look how she's holding her belly this is the mother oh you did that because you wanted to you wanted to hurt the person that walked away from you oh I want them so depressed I want them to see that I did this and then you ended up getting the person pregnant. <laughs> oh, you didn't like that. Oh, why? Because you have to pay now. You have to pay all this money for child support. Well, that's what you get for being a fucking snake. The authorities are watching you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, justice is here, baby. Your money is gonna slow down and you you're trying to get away from the situation but no mm -mm. it's over for you it's over for the person that's getting haunted what message do we have for the ghost magician 
somebody was trying to create illusions about this child too it could even be the mother maybe the mother wanted to keep this a secret but the high priestess sees all the high priestess sees all so maybe maybe this the the mother of this kid who is related to the high priestess was trying to hide this they thought they could get away from this too now it's being exposed for the whole world to see um, how this this masculine took advantage of uh, the traumas of people that he was entrusted to care for to guide so this is like a stepfather sleeping with his stepkid knowing that the step the stepkid has like all this uh trauma like all this uh you know baggage you know daddy issues you know maybe has issues with the mother um so this masculine uses that to manipulate them and to to, to warp and and corrupt their minds and this is a man who's seen as a pillar of the community, which he really isn't. If he's a pillar, it's just because he's fat. Yeah, pillar's usually tall, but um, yeah, he's fat and short. He's like a butterball, man. He's a fucking fat little. He looks like Danny DeVito. <laughs> like this short little. No, no offense to Danny DeVito because I love him. But um, you know where, where Danny DeVito plays the penguin? <laughs> That's what this dude looks like. Um, I don't know why I had the, felt the need to say that, but I did. Okay, because usually I don't care about people. You know, we don't really attack people's looks. But um, this is someone who likes to build themselves up like they're some kind of fucking, you know, a, some pimp or something. But nah, this dude has a lot of kids that he don't even take care of. Mm. And he blames the mothers. The mothers never let me see my kids. And they're only after me for my money. It's like, nah, bitch. You don't ever want to see your kids. And if you're going to be toxic, stay the fuck away. These are actually people, mothers who don't want you around their kids. Not because they want to get back at you. Because they want you out of their fucking lives. These people can't stand you, man. Now you have, you're stuck paying child support. I heard you, somebody had just finished paying like child support. Like they were all done paying child support. I'm done, I'm done. I don't have any more responsibilities. Bam. <laughs> no. Not so fast, says spirit. You're going to have to give all your money away. And anything that this person has saved up is going to go to this kid. Um, and then on top of that, this man is going to have a hard time making money because of his crimes of the things that he's done in the past people there people companies employers are going to see him as a liability they're not going to want him around because he can't be trusted around kids this man is going to get in trouble for fraud um so he's going to be seen as a thief like there's a lot of shit that that this man has done that's going to come back on him and it's going to make his life very hard so honestly prison might be the most merciful outcome for him I heard someone say, don't be so sure. <laughs> Damn, that's the second time that that's came through. Don't be so sure. There's a lot of people that are gunning for this this guy because of the deception. He's, he's done this to many people. I heard brother, cousins, like, like a teacher, a teacher, maybe a, a teacher or a, mentor I heard that mentor like I don't know if the 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 wife would even could, would even see this no it, the spirit says no this person would reject them like Ew, get away from me but if he could he would Tim I'm hearing Tim Tim so your name could be Tim or this could be something that's happening like want this person wanted to do to someone named Tim um so what did I say brother cousin teacher mentor something like that but I'm hearing Tim so Tim um I'm just gonna say what I said if you slept with someone's 
girlfriend or wife. This person has been waiting years to try and find some way to get back at you by either sleeping with your wife or causing, you know, being a wedge between you where to cause, you know, conflicts between the two of you. This is somebody who throws their hand and hides their, their or throws their rock and hides their hand. This, this is the kind of, that kind of person. And this is somebody that you could actually see as a, a friend. You could support them at, you know, whatever they do for work. Mm. You could think that there's some good dude, but no. Like, this person want to get back. But the only reason that they haven't been able to is because whoever you have currently would, would reject this person, like, in a heartbeat. Like, get the fuck away from me. Yeah, he wanted to create chaos in your own in your life, Tim. Because this person wanted their get back. Because they just this is somebody who feels very insecure. They might try to come off very confident, but they're very insecure. Very low vibrational person. This person um, is a snake for sure. This is somebody who lies and waits to get back at somebody who has, um, who they feel has wronged them. And I'm not saying that maybe these people have, like, we do fucked up shit, but we all do fucked up shit. But for you to like hold so, so much resentment and anger and this grudge for years, I'm going to get you back. Eventually, I'm going to get you back. And this person doesn't even, like, want to, like, put it all out there for everybody to know what they did. But they want to know in their heart, in their mind, that they got you back. And, um, mm, this person has spoken to others, people that this person thought that they could trust about what they have done, what they had planned to do, what they have done. And the person that they told was somebody that this person also fucked over. Mm. Because of something that the person that they told, like that person did something in the past. I heard they slept with my, they slept with my girl. So it's, it could have been the same girl. So this could have just been the, skank that got around i don't fucking know but this chick slept with two different people and so i'm gonna get him back and i'm gonna get him back and I, you know he did he got his brother back he slept with this girl his wife his his um brother's wife so now but now he's on on uh i heard social media trying to do damage control like no we're still we're still happy right we're still good hmm. okay. well I don't know let's see anything else for group number one yeah this person is a bully this person's about to get caught this is somebody who again likes to be seen as this emperor somebody who's respectable and you know somebody to be admired but this person's a fucking joke this person's a fucking joke let's see how people really feel about this person this emperor this fucking clown over here how do people really feel about this emperor i think he's a fucking joke too look at how they're laughing at him I'm like oh yeah oh yeah they said that about you? Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. That's what Jerry does when he when he laughs at someone who he doesn't really like and something bad happens. He's like, yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> so they're laughing at this person. Not like, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck, man. They want, they want to see this person go down. Yep. They're laughing at, at this person because someone told them, like, hey, you should, I told you not to do that. And they did it, and so now this person, I don't want to say smacking them across the head, but it's like, dumbass, I told you to fucking leave it. Now look at you. Feeling like a turkey over here. 
All injured and shit with your fucking bad knees. I told you the bitch was going to get you next and you didn't listen. You thought you were untouchable showing up to a fucking fight with oven mitts. Get the fuck out of here, fool. People don't like you. They think you're a joke. Whoever this emperor is. Mm. Your friends don't like you. Let's see what your boss has to say. This is a boss. Boss is watching this person that's speaking on you. Okay, so he's watching. Your boss is watching, right? Your boss is paying attention. There's you and there's this other person that's speaking on you. Okay. This person's laughing while you got the pimp over here feeling fucking soft and shit. <laughs> That's a, that's a little noodle man that, that Kramer made for Jerry. It's a little Jerry made out of, out of pasta. So he's looking at it like, fuck, got me feeling soft because I ain't this pimp. I ain't as confident as I want people to believe. Someone, they, he, this person really wants people to believe that they're confident. Like, I don't give a fuck about nothing. I'm a fucking pimp. Everybody wants me, bitch. Nobody wants you. You ain't a pimp if you have to pay. The pimp makes the money. The pimp doesn't have to pay for pussy. So your boss is watching the pimp feel soft and his goofy clown laughing and delight to see this motherfucker go down sweet justice <laughs> and how do people feel they are clapping they are they are you know applauding this one over here for everything that they're doing because they don't like this person over here they this person wants to be seen like this people know the reality they really ain't shit. They can't compete. And they're soft. And they're nothing but a little bitch. They want to act like they're not mad, but they really are. They're hiding that they're not. Yeah. They're hiding that they're not, that they're mad. They're hiding that they're mad because this goofy clown fucking snapped them in half. That's what I have for you, group number one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the description box. There's more information down below. So you can contact me if you ever want to schedule your own personal readings. Prices are down below. All right, guys? Just email me and, yeah, we can, we can go from there. All right, guys? But if not, and this is where I leave you, have a great one, pile number one. All right, pile number two. If you chose the spider, this is your reading. So the spider talks about community and web weaving. Um, I'm getting like networking, connecting with other people and, you know, building your network up. You need community to do this, right? So let's see, why is this your reading? Why is this the energy for you? It has a lot to do with community though and the people that you're, you are connecting with at this time. Okay, these are people that are giving to you. Okay. Oh no, you're hiding. You're supposed to be giving to someone. And you're hiding something. What is this? Tower. Hmm. Having a, I'm getting like, hold on. Hmm. About a kid. Yeah, about a kid. So this is child support justice. Oh my God. Okay. You have to Pay child support for a child. And that is causing some problems because your community is getting wise to what really happened and judgment's about to be called. Okay, so the reason why this has to do with your community is because 
if you're if you're coming over from from oh not I'm sorry <laughs> group one the ghost um it had this a similar story so this is spilling over into the community the group workplace I think pile number one had that same th um, thing that this person was going to have a hard time finding work because of the truth that comes out and this is um this is like the breakdown of it with the tower and judgment justice and the five of wands like this is the breakdown of the community there's a lot of people fighting <coughs> and this is causing a lot of stress and worry because oh there's a lot of oh my gosh or this person could be coming at you with some conflict and that's what's stressing you out because the truth about this child is going to come to light you can't call them a liar and call them crazy when you f like and then they find out that um what this person was saying was true all along i don't know why i'm getting um i'm getting a meg meg ugh. i'm getting meg the stallion and tory lanes you know how after all that shit happened there was a lot of like hip-hop artists like you know come into tory lane's defense that meg the stallion was she was lying and she didn't really get shot and all this other shit right and then Tory Lanez had this, you know, it was, there was a, a phone call released where he was like, tell her, I'm sorry, I was drunk. I didn't know what I was doing, blah, 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 blah. Pretty much saying that, yeah, okay, I'd like apologize to her for, you know, what happened because, you know, I was out of my mind is what this person is saying. And, you know, the, all the people that were saying, I think 50 Cent was one of them that said, you know, I, I didn't believe her until I heard the recording. I was like, damn, you know, I... I didn't know. So I'm, I'm getting a similar energy. Like a lot of people are like, oh, she's lying. She's bitter and angry and all this other shit. So they didn't believe. Only to find out, oh, it's true. This person, someone is worried that the truth is going to come out. They're really worried about that. It's The truth is already here, man. I mean, it's just a matter of time for it to be confirmed and... You know, the high priestess already brought this shit down. You ain't going nowhere. It's definitely not going anywhere. Until this is resolved. Nine of spokes. You went against this one. You try to blow. Oh, you try to. Mm. Okay. So you have someone's computer hacked. You have someone's computer hacked, their phone hacked. So whatever work they're doing, um, you, well, you were stopping it. So like, let's say they were getting uh, emails. You would, I don't know how, I don't know how hackers do that shit, but they would wipe them. So nothing would come through that was of value that was going to help you grow. Or this, that's what this person did to you. Or, I'm sorry, that's what you did to another person. Were they hacking? Yeah. Couldn't see. Yeah. You had someone shit hacked. And you were trying to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The authorities already know this shit, though. Oh, my God. You were so going down. You were so fucking going down. And I, I personally cannot wait to see that shit happen. I cannot wait. Mm. Sweet justice. Sweet justice. <laughs> see? Oh, my God. The authorities have been watching what you've been doing to another person, weighing them down. The authorities have been watching everything that you've done, everything that you've done to create heartache and, and stress and and. Uh, making it hard for this person to make money. The authorities have been watching this whole time because they've been watching the person that you've been trying to sabotage. Why? Because you threw them under the bus somehow and tried to accuse them of doing something that they didn't do. So what did the authorities do? They started watching this person. Well, this person is a criminal. So and so said so. Pile number two said so. They're a criminal. They do this. They do that. They do this. They do that. So they've been watching this person. 
but they've been watching you watch this person and watching you sabotage this person. Even their family, the shit that they that their family has been doing, they've been watching everyone. Everyone. So you try to create some problems for this person to build community, to network, and now all your community, everything that you've built is coming to an end. It's not going anywhere, Spirit says. You thought, huh? Spirit says you thought. You and your fucking little gala. Fucking like, look, you know, <laughs> putting lipstick on a fucking pig. You're still a pig, fool. Just because you wear a little penguin suit. Oh, well, you are the penguin, right? Hmm? This person is innocent. The high priestess, the person that you try to to uh, accuse of doing, I don't know, do some, some type of wrongdoing is innocent. What you've been trying to hide is that the mother, uh, that you paid someone to sleep with you. And now, now you have to pay a lot more. Like you're like, man, I was just, it, I was just investing this one coin. Now somebody's like trying to hold on to all their money, not having, not wanting to give it <laughs> that, um, that one coin grew, right? It was growing, it was growing. And now you're like penny pinching because you, you made an investment all because you wanted to be a hoe because you felt like your, your fucking delicate ego got hurt. Your fucking delicate ego got hurt. <coughs> you wanted your get back. Spirit says you got it. I mixed up these decks. Spirit says you got it. Enjoy. You're not going to be able to touch this child because uh, you're known to be a fucking sexual deviant with children. So you will not be near this kid. You're just going to have to pay for it. Yeah. Him, her. The high priestess won't let you anywhere near this kid. Neither will the justice system. Yeah, this person's gonna have victory regardless. Oh, these ones come in reverse. Judgment on these two. Could be a fire sign and an air sign. Both in reverse, like judgment's being called on these two victory and success for someone else. These two are going down for the shit that they've done. Can you tell me about this Queen of Wands? She was one of many. Just one of many. This one's going to be in poverty and loss, lack. A little... <laughs> Whew. Spirit says, I hope you enjoyed your, your little time your, your time at your little dance because um after that ain't gonna be no more fun times for you penguin boy mm, 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 mm. your community is gonna walk away from you your community actually wants to see you go down if i'm gonna be honest people don't like you they hide that though they're like, yeah, we're friends, but secretly I really want to, I'm lying to you that I fucking can't stand you. Man, that's crazy. Like, I would, I would really hate to be in that energy where people just like me for, or not even like, okay. I would hate to be in that energy where people pretended to like me for all these fucked up, you know, I don't know. I would, I would hate that. Having people like. Mm. Well, these are people who like pretend to support you and pretend to want to see you do good, but secretly they want to see you defeated in jail. <laughs> yeah, that's how people want to see you. And it's probably because of what you've done to other people, not just this one person. You've done this to so many people that people want to see the same done to you. Mm. 
And all because your ego got hurt because you, I don't know. I heard, I picked the wrong brother. Something about, I picked the wrong brother. I don't know, like, there's a lot of insecurity because of the way you look. So, you just, mm -mm, like, I don't know, what is that? There's a lot of, yeah. It's almost like I want to hurt you before you can hurt me. That's why you did it to your, you slept with your, or, I don't want to say you slept with them. I think you just m made your cousin's wife or girlfriend blow you. You did that because you felt some kind of way. It's almost like if, if, if you were to put you, if it was you and your cousin put together, they would, a, a female would always choose your cousin because your cousin is better looking. That makes you feel some kind of way. So you want to have some kind of feeling of superiority to this better looking cousin. And so you made, you put, oh, you caught, you caught, you caught your cousin's wife fucking around with, with his best friend. So you're like, all right, I have this dirt over you. Now you're going to blow me anytime I ask you to. You want tickets? You have to blow me. So you would hold something over someone's head because you caught them. You caught them doing something. So this, this, your cousin's girl got caught cheating with your cousin's best friend, brother. I heard brother heard Ryan Ryan Brian or Ryan um you knew about this you didn't tell your cousin you if anything because you wanted to feel superior to this person you wanted to you know make this bitch do whatever you wanted her to do you don't want me to tell that you were fucking Brian or Ryan or um then you're gonna blow me you want tickets you're gonna blow me you want this you're gonna blow me Hmm. I don't think you, this is this is sick sick shit so every, everybody's so close and you got like this web that you've <laughs> you weaved um, I'm getting like you're getting stuck in it like all the spiders are attacking you you're gonna get beat up man it might be kind of nasty It might be nasty, man. Somebody might get hurt. It don't matter if you can throw hands. When you have, like, um, there could be a whole group of people. There's nine here. It could. Maybe they're going to take turns beating you up. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> Oh my goodness. What's the f for your for your stubborn ways. You thought you you thought you were invincible. You thought you got away from all this bullshit that you've done in the past, but you fucking crossed the wrong one. You sure did. You crossed the wrong one. This person was nothing but loving. So God's like, "Okay, this person didn't mean you any harm. This person didn't do anything harmful to you." But because your fucking ego is so delicate, you got hurt for some reason. You got you, your ego got hurt. And so you attack somebody who is nothing but loving to you. God is like, oh, hell no. Maybe these other people might have deserved a little bit to like, you know, I don't know. Maybe they needed a little like kick to their ego. I don't know. But you crossed somebody who didn't ever do anything wrong to, n never did any harm to you. You crossed the wrong one. God was like, oh, hell no. You ain't gonna do that to my baby. <laughs> yeah, this person was nothing but loving to you. Kind. 
and because you told, you spread lies and said, because you're a fucking hoe. Oh, you take dick. This is a masculine that takes dick. He's on the low. So, but he doesn't want people to know, right? So he has to throw someone under the bus. And so this loving person, that was nothing but loving to him. Uh, he ran around telling everybody that this person did sex work. They took dick from for, for money. That's what they did for work. That's what this person was saying. Yeah. Mm. This person took lots of dicks for money. When in reality, it was this masculine taking dick. This person says that's the truth. <laughs> oh, shit. This man is on the low. He's a fucking, he's gay for pay? Is that what it is? Gay for pay? Or he's just gay. He just doesn't want people to know. I don't fucking know. This is some crazy shit. Hey, well, interesting, huh? All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the description box. There's more information down below so you can call, contact me if you want to ever schedule your own personal readings. All right, guys. But if not, and this is where I leave you. Have a great one, guys. Happy Halloween.